comes to bring you our feature presentation. That's from city to saint As winners we can't Live by the picture they paint Because they know that all the inner is tame So we must live out our lives With a sense of restraint What's going on everybody? Welcome to another day, another time, another hour. Yes, y'all. <laughs> right here on the number one inspiration station for heart and soul music, W Pop Radio. If you're new to the broadcast, and as I give my introduction every time you become here, I'm your host, Red, host of the IHC show every Tuesday and Thursday, right here on on the number one inspiration station for heart and soul music, W Pop Radio. We got a great show planned for you today. I right? got some great show, great music playing from Kirk Franklin, William Murphy, um, a whole plethora of music. We're also going to talk about uh, some inside scoop with red news. That's why I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. So we're going to talk about the tribe called Quest, uh, also Empire, Whoopi Goldberg, Cat Williams. Diddy, Tiny and Tia, and we also got some great gospel news with uh, uh, this week in gospel news with Nina Taylor. Yeah, I, I given that portion over of my segments uh, to Nina, so Nina gonna spit that for you all. And sometimes I, you know, I still give the gospel news, but hey, you know, majority is gonna be with Nina. But uh, yes, so check that out and let's get started, y'all. Let's 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 get started. Let's let's get let's get let's get this work. <laughs> let's get this work right here on the Irish Through Shot. Be back in a few. Twenty one oh three, baby. Come here. Hey, ladies, or even men. If you're looking for a great read from an author that keeps it real and is down to earth and funny, head over to MrWrongBook.com to check out her new title, Hashtag Mr. Wrong, Seven Ways to Know He Might Not Be Mr. Right. not tuning into the rs3 show weekly here's what you've missed what are areas of sex that are forbidden purchase sex come on <laughs> fantasizing or having sex with a prostitute and you can go to first corinthians 6 15 through 17 or deuteronomy 23 17 and 18 so if you're not getting it from your wife hus- um husbands or uh, or wives if you're not getting it from your husband you can't go out here buying that we have real life topics and grown folks discussion and it's all from a christian male perspective just like on thursday we have a brand new broadcast and a brand new discussion just for you we also have gospel recording artist and pastor chris willis with his brand new song sanctified church <laughs> we're going to church on thursday y'all so govern yourself accordingly and join me this thursday at 6 p.m for more about the broadcast visit my website at the show.com I just told you that's how I felt. That's how I felt. If I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I said said what I said. You don't like it. You don't like it. It's the Real Talk with Red segment right here on the Arch 3 Show. All right, you all, uh, as you heard on the intro, I said what I said because I said what I said. And that is the introduction to the Ask Red Letters and, of course, the Real Talk with Red discussions. And the Real Talk with Red discussion, as I say, it, I mean, where the Ask Red Letter is a branch off from the Real Talk with Red and, and it's, it's just Real Talk discussion. But anyway, let me read my first letter in here and give y'all Nina. Give y'all Nina. It says, this first letter reads, I need some advice, y'all. Disclaimer, these are real people, y'all. So don't judge them. I'm not going to judge them. I'm just going to give y'all my honest, my unscripted opinion from a Christian male perspective. So just put on that 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 
mindset of this is my opinion from a Christian male. Everybody got their own opinion. I'm not judging them. You know, it's real people, real this, 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 real um, uh, problems, situations. Some people are saved. Some of them not. Some of them go through some mess. Some of them don't. But just don't judge my folks. I right? don't judge my people. They are my co-hosts. Chances day one, I. Right? But anyway, I need some advice. Here's the breakdown. I'm 27, and my husband is 30. We met in high school. We have been together for 12 years and married for four. So that means she was 15 and he was 18. Ooh. Anyway, um, and married for four. Separated for two. We've tried therapy, different things to rekindle our marriage, and nothing seems to be working to get us closer. Our communication sucks. Sometimes we go days without talking to each other, and we're living in the same house. I want to work it out, but it seems it's getting harder and harder, and I just don't know what to do anymore. I'm just here to vent to please, so uh, I'm just here to vent, so please, no negative comments. Um, I just want advice or to see if someone has went through what I'm going through. Briefly read the letter. Um, a woman, her and her husband, been together for uh, 12 years. She's, th- she's 27. He's 30. They've been married for um, uh, four years and been separated for two. They've been going through or whatever. And so they want to know how to rekindle their marriage. Excuse me. Um, you've... You've... Um, Y'all tried therapy, different things to rekindle marriage. Nothing seems to be working. Uh, therapy was that therapy with a pastor or therapy with your spiritual advisors? Therapy with someone that can really get down and dirty with you all and let y'all know. Look, y'all need to get it together um, and and just just be there as a unit. You know, because y'all got together and got married for a reason. And that's what I was sitting here and tell them. Y'all got married and got together for a reason. Yes, of course, everybody goes through different things. Everybody goes through reasons that they think they should break up or divorce. I think even a cheat cheating is is okay to 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 work through some of them. Only I and my personal thing is only thing that I think that I would excuse me divorce my significant my wife from is a habitual cheater and a habitual abuser. I would not stay in a a toxic marriage, and I would not stay in a marriage where you can continue to continue to cheat on me. No. Once counsel, once we're going to talk it through, we're going to talk it through. Just look, hey, what made you do that? What am I not doing here to make you go there? I, did, I, did I not install no pole? Did I not, you know, was that not too lavish or too exotic enough for you? It is what it is, y'all. I'm talking in future tense. I'm talking not even in future tense because I'm not even going to go. You know, we all going to go through it. But I, I'm just praying for blessings from the beginning. But um, what? You know, what am I not doing for you to make you go outside of our covenant, our marriage? Let me know. She tells me, okay, I'm going to work on it. <laughs> no need for counseling. It's just communication. We talking. No need. She do it again. I, it's time for us to go to our pastor because I, I didn't try it myself as the leader and as the head of our household. I didn't try to work things out. Now we're gonna go to our spiritual leader, our the head of the ch- head of our church. Well, of course, we pray together and you know we do whatever. <laughs> you in agreement of working it out, but you still doing whatever. We're going to our pastor. If it don't work by that third time, I'm gone. Oh, look, I can't do this no more. You know what? I love you, but I love you enough to leave. 
and that's what I'm telling you know a particular person now but anyway that's neither here nor there and I'm not going into that because I'm a minister and I pray that even if I'm not a minister you don't go out telling folks business that they tell you in secret but um yeah but anyway do I and, and, and even if you try therapy and if it was with the past or whatever I would recommend each and every married couple to watch letters letters to God watch um uh uh war room and watch um uh what's the other one um the love dare watch those together and there's one more but I, I'll let y'all know that on um Thursday when we continue to talk about family or whatever but if you're going through a situation watch those and you married watch those and even even with the love dare situation i think that's no that's fireproof that's fireproof the love dare is a book that was given to the guy in fireproof so watch uh, letters to god fireproof war room all right here's a clip from the real talk with red segment it's the rs3 show we're talking about 16 things that um you know that you found a real man or he's a gentleman ladies Jesus washes sins away. Let me see you once up in the air. This is me, Jamie Carlos, Gumbrel Yardis from Kingston, Jamaica. And you are listening to the RH3 show. Keep it locked. Let me see you yeah. once up in the air. If you know you're safe and sanctified, where the world can stay. But um, number eight, I said he opened doors and uh, takes coats. And, you know, not because he feels that the woman is weak, but because he is strong enough to know, to show that he cares for the comfort cares about the comfort of those around him number uh nine sure he might want to get in 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 her bed of course i mean that comes without question and th- i I've, i say it all the time it, it is quite all right to even want that but it's just a, you know you you can't give in to it if you're not married let me say that you can't give in to it if you're not married you know Hey, whatever. But, uh, you know, he might want to get in her bed, but he's also interested in getting into her head as experience to show him that seduction is a delicate dance and that the man who resides in her mind has conquered every part of her. Number 10, he's appreciate a, he appreciates a woman who shows she cares for for him but he isn't interested in being courted he enjoys taking the lead courting does not need to be chased because he's um in desperate need of an ego stroke he also want play puppy dog to a woman who takes advantage of this as my listeners are a part of the rs3 show family i would like to be a part of your radio family for more information about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at drs3show.com. You can also email me at rh3show at gmail.com. How to listen? You can listen to me live every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my flagship station, which is WPOP Radio. You can visit that website at wpopradio.com. You can also download WPOP Radio's app from any smart device app store. Just search WPOP Radio. You can also listen to me on podcast platforms, Anchor.fm, Apple iTunes, Breaker, CastBox, Google Play Music, Google Podcast, Overcast, Spreaker, Spotify, iTunes, whatever it is. Just search The RS3 Show. And as I say at the end of each broadcast, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love yourself and other people beyond words. I hope to be a part of your family. Talk to you soon. Peace. Because they know that all the inner is tame, so we must live out our lives with a sense of restraint. Which means do I live and we ain't? We are controlled by the flesh, we're depicted as weight. And pray without a quitter's complaint, and being able to turn down your dinner at eight. Because the price that he paid for me, gave to me my freedom, so I'm not a slave for me. Christ made a way for me, grace we didn't pay for me. Your way back to God through the life that he gave for me. It made me gave with a switch, our lives were in darkness, they came with a switch. So we don't walk like we used to, talk like we used to, call us for honor and he'll do it for you too. Yeah. I know I gotta raise
now Pray the bloody cause it will switch Go ahead Cause I know I gotta give it up If anybody wanna come and pray the Lord Cause I know I gotta give it up If anybody wanna come and praise the Lord